Clifford's Best Friend, a story about Emily Elizabeth by Norman Bridwell. Bridwell. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a big red dog. You may have read books about my dog, Clifford, but this book isn't about Clifford. This book is about me. Every morning, my alarm clock rings at 7 o'clock. I wake up and pull up my shade. First, I have my own breakfast. Then I feed Clifford. <laughs> the dump truck. <laughs> I walk him too. On school days, we go all the way to the school building. Of course, dogs are not allowed inside the school, but that's not a problem for me. Some kids in my school take a school bus home but the kids on my block don't need to. After school, I have a lot of homework to do. But when my homework is all done, I can play with Clifford. And Clifford wouldn't like, would like to fetch sticks and balls and frisbees like other dogs. But he can't, he's too big. You have to put that tree back, Clifford. Good dog. I don't think that's a happy tree now. <laughs> One day, Clifford thought he saw a giant Clifford-sized Frisbee. He chased it. And he caught it. Then Clifford gently put it down on the ground. We were surprised when purple creatures came out of the Frisbee. I wondered if they were people from another galaxy. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask them, though. Once they saw Clifford, they quickly returned to their frisbee and flew away. Clifford and I have interesting experiences almost every day. And after Clifford and I play, I, get, I eat dinner and get ready for bed. I say my prayers. Whisper goodnight to my big red dog and dream sweet dreams. I guess you can say I'm just a very normal girl with a very special dog. The end.